Hello, my name is Steve Carr at Carr Amplifiers. We're going to start uh, doing kind of a blog thing and some video updates of, of different interesting bits, some kind of amp tutorial settings, uh, maybe even some previews of prototypes and other fun things, hopefully fun things, tours of, of the wood shop, etc. So uh, this is the first one, we'll begin. <laughs> I just thought it would be interesting to um, many people, and I know some people have asked about the guitars that I'll use while prototyping. Uh, and there are uh, kind of a small handful that, that are the go-to instruments. Guitars I know well from playing out with them and, and spending a lot of time with them, having a good sense of their sound. And, and here they are. We have to thank Mike Kenlin, uh -huh. excellent amp builder and now videographer. So. Uh, but yeah, Mike, we can start right here. This is a this is a guitar I've had for a long time. I actually bought this guitar in 1998, uh, shortly after Current started, because I needed a humbucker guitar. I thought archetypal humbucker. It's a '72 Les Paul Custom. It's had a, a lot of use, you know. I've used it a lot, and whoever had it before me used it an awful lot. A um, little unusual that has a single coil on the neck. But uh, this is the original old Gibson, I think it's a T-top pickup. Sounds great, guitar plays great, classic rock sound, and, and the neck is kind of neat. I'll go on about that more. I use that in, a lot with the Mercury. You can get a clean sound and slap it down for a distortion sound while you're playing live, bouncing between pickups. So anyway, this is my uh, archetypal humbucker bridge guitar. Okay. Moving on to the other end of the spectrum, this is a uh, Tom Anderson T Classic, uh, though it's got a strap pickup in the neck. So this I kind of use. This, this Anderson has, uh, you know, fairly low output pickups. Really, <laughs> Mike, are you laughing? <laughs> Little zoom issues there, but oh, okay, that's all right. We can edit this. Yeah. Uh, we considered hiring actors to play us, <laughs> but uh, we're not quite ready. Anyway, um, this guitar is extremely. Uh, Pretty sound, low output, very tinkly, uh, very very glassy. I guess you would say. Really works great for Stratish tones and some telly stuff. And then, uh, and then this is sort of the, uh, a different take on the telly. This is a Veneto. I think it's SG50. I think it's what this is called or SC. I can't remember, but. Uh, very much a, a 52 kind of telly, gigantic neck, um, all our pickups. This, this has a lot of, of heft. Sonically, it's kind of in between a Les Paul and a, what a lot of people would think of as a telly because it's got a lot of um, fullness in the bridge, a lot of output. It's a really thick sounding guitar. Thick as the neck. So uh, these three are the main, main ones I use. Um, I've, we've got other guitars here at the shop if I want a neck humbucker or a strat, but uh, I'm very familiar with these three, so uh, I can extrapolate different tones. And, and finally, we'll go into some more of these things at another time. Here's here's an amp I'm working on. It's uh, well, we're in June of 2009. This is how a prototype often looks. The hair gets taller, and I trim it back. <laughs> And it gets up again. I'll trim it back. I'm clipping in and out different things. and Or, you know, if I want to try a different tube, I'll just kind of scab onto the back. Eventually, they get so full of junk that uh, I have to make another version of it with everything I've learned from that, that iteration. Anyway, this is a model that, well, should be out in January of 2010. But there's a lot of work ahead, as you can see. Anyway, <laughs> we're at the end of our first little video block, hope to do more, I don't know what frequency, maybe uh, if we're lucky once every three weeks or so, but thanks for watching. <laughs>